So I've decided that today, I'm ditching my entire startup team. My marketing guys, if you're watching this, well, you're fired. To my CFO, you can go bury yourself in an Excel sheet somewhere. And to my copywriters, look, it's been a great road, but you're completely obsolete now. I wish you all the best of luck, but I'm officially replacing every single one of them. Over the last 10 or so years, I've worked with hundreds of startups, creating new products, writing business plans, integrating different marketing strategies, and that shit is so tedious. It takes months to come up with all these different ideas and strategies. And sometimes my brain just doesn't want to think them all through. But what if you didn't need a brain, a team, time, or even an idea? What if you had a partner who worked for free, who would do all the thinking for you and create a million dollar startup in minutes? He doesn't even want equity. He just wants to help because as smart as he is, helping you makes him even smarter. He'll come up with all the ideas. He'll tell you what to create. I mean, hell, he'll even give you the marketing strategies that you need to attract an audience and start earning revenue immediately. I mean, that would be a damn fairy tale, right? But guess what? It's not. That partner actually does exist. Granted, he's a robot, but he exists. Artificial intelligence has been the talk of the town for the last few weeks. Whether it's people using Linza AI to create fantasy selfies, or people using robots to create music and write poetry, AI is starting to change almost every industry. But just how intelligent is artificial intelligence? I mean, can it say, for instance, take the place of an entire startup team? Could it conceptualize and build a million dollar startup? By now, I'm sure that you've probably heard of OpenAI. I've been playing around with it the last few weeks and it's pretty amazing. And it's kind of scary just how smart the technology really is. But what I've really been wondering is, can it create a winning startup and how fast can it do it? And today, I wanna to put that to the test. So what exactly do we need to create a new startup? Well, we have to have a business idea. And then we need to turn that idea into a set of effective features. We'll have to determine who our competitors are and what advantage we have over them. And oh yeah, we have to have a startup name too. And once we have that, we have to figure out how we're gonna market it all and how we're gonna reach our audience. And then I wanna go a little bit further. They say that AI is getting better at creating content, so let's put that to the test too. We'll need a landing page for our startup and some ads to drive traffic to it. And if we get that far, well, I'll be damn surprised. So let's see just how good AI is at creating a million dollar startup. And seeing that I just fired my entire team, well, this shit better work. For this little experiment, I'm gonna use two different open AI products here. First, we have this playground solution, which says that it can pretty much write anything. And then we have ChatGPT, which is an AI-based chatbot. So first, let's start with the business idea. I'm gonna jump right in the playground here and see what it can come up with. The first business that I ever tried to launch was one to help musicians learn how to play their instruments better. So let's feed that into the system and see what it spits out. So here, I'm gonna type in a new prompt. I want to create a startup that uses social media to help musicians learn how to play instruments better. Give me three amazing startup ideas that would attract musicians and earn more than $1 million annually. Furthermore, tell me why each of these is a great idea. So I think that that kind of wraps up what we're trying to do. So let's run this through the system and see what Playground gives us. And in just a few seconds, I already have three brand new ideas. Number one, a subscription-based platform for instrument lessons that includes a comprehensive library of lessons and resources tailored specifically to each instrument. This platform could include interactive components such as video chat with instructors and virtual jam sessions. Well, that sounds pretty cool. In fact, that's really kind of aligned to what my business was previously. Let's look at number two, a mobile application that provides personalized on-demand lessons for musicians. This app could incorporate features such as real-time feedback, practice challenges, and even virtual jam sessions with other musicians. Well, that's kind of similar, but it does have a few differences, and I think that that's a pretty great idea as well. Let's take a look at number three, a social media platform specifically for musicians. This platform could offer features such as music sharing, collaboration opportunities, and access to resources and advice from other musicians. Okay, so here we have three different ideas. And while some of them share the same features, 
Really, they're all pretty good ideas and they're all sort of aligned to the platform that I was trying to build a few years ago. So let's run with number one which is a paid subscription platform that allows music students to engage and interact with music teachers. Now, I gotta be honest, that was pretty damn impressive. However, it's just an idea. We haven't really got to the point of building out a product yet. For that, we're gonna need some features. So here, I'm gonna input a new prompt. I want to create a paid subscription music education platform that offers interactive music lessons and courses taught by professional musicians. Give me five features I could include that would help musicians reach their goals of improving their performance. So let's go ahead and run that through and see what Playground comes up with. Okay, so now it's given us five potential features for this idea. And what it's come up with is, number one, live video lessons with experienced instructors. Number two, progress tracking with personalized feedback. Number three, interactive practice challenges. Number four, high quality audio and video recordings of lessons. And number five, access to a library of resources and tutorials. Okay, not bad. I mean, could I have created those features myself? Well, of course I could. I could have looked at the market, saw what was out there, and did a bunch of research, and then wrote up those features myself but could I have done it in 10 seconds? Hell no, and neither could my team, especially since I just officially fired them all during this video. And speaking of looking at the market and seeing what's out there, let's see whether this system can tell us who our competitors are. And furthermore, we'll see if it can actually iron out our competitive advantages. Okay, so I'm gonna run a brand new prompt here. And in this prompt, it's gonna say, are there any competitors currently offering a similar solution? Give me a description of each of them and tell me how I can create a competitive edge against each of them. Okay, so hopefully once I run this prompt through, it'll tell me exactly who my competitors are and tell me what advantages I have that will allow me to beat them. So it's given us four options here. Our first competitor would be Jamplay, which is a popular online platform for learning instruments. And we have a competitive edge here. To create a competitive edge, you can focus on offering a more personalized experience with interactive features, such as real-time feedback and practice challenges. Now, honestly, I don't know if Jamplay actually offers these features, but if they don't, then I have to admit that those would be pretty good competitive advantages. So let's take a look at some of these other competitors and see how we can create a competitive edge against them as well. Number two, we have Fender Play, which is another online platform that provides interactive lessons. And to create a competitive edge, you can offer a wider variety of instruments and styles. Okay, pretty good. Next, we have ArtistWorks, which is an online platform that offers video lessons with instructors in a variety of instruments and styles. Our competitive edge here, we can focus on offering more personalized instruction with interactive features. Next, we have Musician, which is a popular mobile app for learning instruments. And for our competitive edge, we could focus on offering a more comprehensive suite of resources and tools, as well as access to professional instructors and other musicians. Well, that saved us quite a bit of work. We see that we have a few competitors and they have some pretty cool names too, which is something that we don't have yet. So let's hop back in and get one. So here I'm gonna enter a new prompt. And for this one, I'm gonna put Give me five startup names that would suit this idea and have available domain names. Because of course, there's really little reason of having a new brand name if we can't also have the domain as well. So let's go ahead and run this prompt through and see what it comes up with. So it's given us five startup name ideas. Number one, Music Mentor. Number two, Learn Mix. Number three, Sound Learn. Number four, Instrumentor. Number five, Play Academy. All of these are kind of okay, and I don't really know if the domain names exist for them or not, or if they're available. I'm just gonna assume that the AI solution did what it was supposed to do and actually gave me names that had domains available. So for this one, let's run with number five, Play Academy. I don't think it's really that great of a name, but it's okay. I probably wouldn't use it in real life, but for the purpose of this video, I guess we can run with it. So what's it been, like five or six minutes? We've already built the first part of our startup. We've got a name, a concept, some features, we know who our competitors are, and we have competitive advantages that might give us enough leverage to actually win in the market. So what else do we need? Well, we need an idea of how we'll actually introduce our product to customers. We need a marketing strategy, or if not an entire marketing strategy, then we at least need some channels that we could use. 
So let's see what my new CMO has to say about marketing. So here I've written in a brand new prompt. And this prompt says, give me five marketing channels that would allow me to easily attract music teachers and music students. Tell me why each channel would help me reach my goal of becoming the top platform for music education. Okay, let's go ahead and run this one through. So it's giving me social media, and it says that social media would be an effective way to reach both of these audiences. We have SEO or search engine optimization, content marketing, email marketing, and paid advertising. Okay, I mean, that sounds good, I guess. We really wouldn't know if these were great marketing ideas until we put some money and effort behind it and actually tested it. But my new business partner said that it was a good idea. So damn it, it's a good idea. So how about a business plan? I mean, we need one of those, right? Now I know that this system won't run a whole 30 page business plan on command. So we would have to go section by section to actually create one. And I just don't have the time to do that. So maybe we should focus on the products and services section of the business plan and see if it's even possible for the system to generate this type of data. So for this, I'm gonna switch over to ChatGPT and see if it'll give us some similar results. Here I've entered the prompt, write a products and services summary that explains five primary features for a paid subscription music education platform that offers interactive music lessons and courses taught by professional musicians. So let's run this through ChatGPT and see what it comes up with. Our paid subscription music education platform offers a variety of interactive music lessons and courses taught by professional musicians. Here are five primary features of our platform. Live online music lessons. Our platform offers live online music lessons with professional musicians, allowing students to receive one-on-one -on -one instruction and feedback in real time. Pre-recorded courses. In addition to live lessons, we also offer a range of pre-recorded courses. Okay, number three, customized lesson plans. Our platform allows students to customize their lesson plans based on their musical goals and preferences. All right, sounds good. Number four, performance opportunities. Our platform offers students the opportunity to perform in front of a live audience. Uh, I guess that'll work. And number five, community support. Our platform includes a community forum where students can connect with other musicians share their progress and receive support and encouragement from their peers. I gotta say, that's pretty damn cool. I mean, could I write it better? Well, of course I could, but could I write it quicker? Hell no. But since my new partner seems to be pretty decent at writing, let's see if it can handle another task that I really hate, which is creating Google ads. That way we have some ad text and we can launch off our marketing strategy immediately. So let's see if it works. So here I added a new prompt. Write five engaging Google ads for this paid subscription music education platform. Include headers and descriptions. Let's see what it comes up with. Number one, become a musician with live online music lessons. Take your musical skills to the next level with online music lessons taught by professional musicians. Our platform offers one-on-one -on -one instruction and personalized lesson plans to help you reach your musical goals. Number two, learn at your own pace with pre-recorded courses. Our platform offers a variety of pre-recorded courses on various musical subjects, allowing you to learn at your own pace. From beginner to advanced, there's something for everyone. Number three, gain performance experience with our platform. Our platform offers students the opportunity to perform in front of a live audience, giving them valuable experience and helping them build confidence in their musical abilities. Join us and take your skills to the stage. And of course we have a number four and a number five, but I think that you already get the point. Okay, okay, I'll admit, these ads really aren't that great, but they are done. Unfortunately, when people click these ads, it's not gonna take them anywhere. I mean, we don't actually have a product that's available. Obviously, the system can't build our product for us. Well, at least they can't yet. But maybe, just maybe, it can create a minimum viable product. Maybe we can use a landing page MVP where we can describe the service and get people to pre-register for the platform. So let's run a prompt through ChatGPT and see if it can go about creating our landing page MVP for us. In this case, I wanna make sure that we're giving the system enough information to go on. So I went ahead and made this prompt a little bit longer. And for this prompt, I said, I am creating a paid subscription music education platform that connects music teachers and students through live and pre-recorded lessons. Write a 250 word landing page with headings and descriptions that would have a high conversion rate among students. The goal is to get users to pre-register for the solution. So let's go ahead and run this through. 
Welcome to our music education platform. Our platform connects music teachers and students through live and pre-recorded lessons, making it easy for anyone to learn and improve their musical skills. Here's what makes us different. Professional music teachers, blah, blah, blah. Custom lesson plans, blah, blah, blah. Flexibility, performance opportunities, and community support. Pre-register now and be the first to access our platform when it launches. We can't wait to help you reach your musical goals. Well, shit, that was a little too easy. I could pop this ad text into Google Ads, throw this landing page text into some builder, and just like that, we've got an active startup ready to take pre-registrations. According to OpenAI, this is a multi-million dollar idea, so I should probably go ahead and build it, right? Well, nah, actually it's not a million dollar idea. Really, it kind of sounds like every other music instructor marketplace that's already out there. And honestly, that's really what I expected because this is artificial intelligence. It can only produce outputs based on the inputs. Its inputs come from scrubbing the internet. And when it scrubs the entire internet, what is it gonna find? Well, it's gonna find a bunch of data from competitors. And then it'll compile all this information, suggest the features that they already offer, and give us something that almost sounds exactly like our competitors. See, what AI lacks is creativity. It knows data, but it doesn't know the market like my CMO does. It can throw together some ad text, but it doesn't hit like when my copywriters create ad text. The landing page text is okay, but it doesn't scream personality. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, maybe AI is great for getting some inspiration and performing some quick surface level research, but I wouldn't really trust it to build my million dollar business. Having said that, to my team, if you're watching this, well, you're hired again. Truth is, you're gonna be seeing a lot more of artificial intelligence in the upcoming months, and it's moving from a business solution to a consumer product. But don't be so quick to adopt every AI solution that you see. Some of them might have you agreeing to terms that you may not be expecting. For example, if you jumped on the social media bandwagon and downloaded Lenza AI and created a bunch of avatars of yourself, well, you literally signed away your face. And I'll tell you exactly how you did that in this video right here. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care and keep doing amazing shit.